Imagine for a moment that you're overseeing the digital communications for a nonprofit that's focused on lung cancer. One of your goals is to increase engagement with physicians in that therapeutic area and to earn them as your followers for your organization's Twitter account. As a first step toward that goal, you want to understand what hashtags the physicians are using when actively engaging on Twitter around the topic of lung cancer. And in order to do that, I'm going to create a dashboard using the topic of lung cancer. I'll click in the search field here and just type what I want. And up will come some matches. Now, one of those is lung cancer as a topic, and that's what I'm going to select. A topic is a feature that's unique to Simpler Signals. It's a curated list of hashtags all related to a common subject, in this case, the subject of lung cancer. So even if you don't know all the hashtags being used in that subject area, it's a smart system, and it does know. At the time of this recording, we're tracking about 160 hashtags related to lung cancer. Next, I'm going to pick my date range, and I have a specific reason for wanting to go back to the month of March, just because I know there was some important activity that took place during that time in this subject area. You can pick whatever date range is important to you. Then I'll hit my Create button. When the dashboard loads, it's going to populate with data based on every tweet made in the preceding 30 days that contained at least one hashtag that was included in that topic. And if I scroll down to the Engagement Activity Report and select the Data Set view, it will reveal some important information for us. Let me draw your attention to the legend. These are those actively used hashtags over the trailing 30 days that are related to lung cancer. And there are so many that I need to scroll down a couple times. Looks like there's about 60 or so. Now, the good news is that these are listed in the order of which are being used most frequently. And so I can see that hashtag lung cancer is that blue band on the top. And then we come over to hashtag LCSM and so on. But I'm specifically interested in doctors and what hashtags they're using. And that's where these stakeholder buttons come into play. We've categorized well over a million Twitter handles involved in healthcare discussions into several different stakeholder groups. And this allows us to segment those conversations and to surface the voices of those stakeholders that are most important based on our objectives. So in this case, I'm gonna select the doctor button. And when I do, this will rerun this one section of the dashboard, only considering those tweets made by known doctors on Twitter. And look at that. There's about half as many actively used hashtags during that time, and the order has changed. We've now got LCSM up on the top, followed by ELCC21. And hashtag lung cancer has dropped down a few positions to number three. As a matter of fact, if I choose the total button, it will compare them in a column graph side by side. And I can see right away that hashtag LCSM is about 40% higher than the generic lung cancer hashtag that was originally shown to us. And by the way, here's a tip. When you see a view like this where it looks like there's nothing over here, you can actually zoom in just by clicking and dragging and see those few tweets that may exist there. And then just press this reset zoom to bring it all back again. Now I just did this by using the topic of lung cancer. You can use other topics or any combination of individually selected hashtags or keywords to do the same kind of comparative analysis. Knowing the best hashtags to use will allow you to observe those specific conversations who the active stakeholders are that are important to you, and what type of messaging is resonating with that group. And this can go a long way toward understanding what issues are important to that group, what common opinions are, and all of these can help with your own planned messaging and understanding how you or your organization can become an asset to the conversation.